So in case you guys missed last week's video, I started phase one of the camper dinette makeover. Once stores are open, it's definitely gonna be a lot easier for me to finish it, but I mentioned that I would be making the curtains and I got so many requests to show you guys how I'm making them. So this is so easy. Um, these curtains that I'm using are actually from Ikea. They're called the Matilda curtains. Now most people when they make curtains, they usually will just buy fabric, but I had these curtains at home and they were exactly what I wanted. These are actually from my first apartment probably like six years ago. Um, I just love them so much and I didn't want them to go to waste. So I'm just using these, but again, you guys could use any type of fabric that you want. Um, this is just really easy because at stores right now, you, I guess depending on where you live, maybe stores are open, but here they're not. So just easy enough to go to Ikea or whatever and just buy a set of curtains. So I'm just taking my steamer. I actually got this on Amazon for our wedding when we got married, just in case anyone was wrinkly. Um, I think it was like 19 bucks and it's honestly been the best investment ever. So after I steamed that, um, I'm not the best seamstress in the world, so that's why this is a very simple, easy, no-sew curtain. So if I can do it, you guys can definitely do it. So to make it foolproof, I am just making a replica of the window. So I measured out the window frame and I'm just using some painter's tape to make kind of a template of the window. That way I can just keep going back and forth to this. And I actually only had to do this with the first window because I got the hang of it afterwards. Um, and as you guys know, our camper isn't at our house, it's at my parents. So we couldn't just run in and out of the house to go see if the measurements were correct. But I got this really cool um, curtain rod from Target and it came with like all the brackets and everything. I think it was $1.46. I know it was definitely under $2. So it was so cheap and just super affordable. And I love how it's rounded because it kind of pops out a little bit. So now what I'm doing is just taking the measurements that I will need to cut the fabric. So our window frame was 19 inches in height. So I added two inches to the top and two inches to the bottom just to give me extra room for hemming it and just to give a little extra length to the bottom. So I cut that at 23 inches and then I just did the same to each of the sides. Um, and then I also just right here, I just taped the curtain rod. That way I knew exactly where it was at when I measured everything. So now I'm just cutting off that top piece and we're gonna save that for something in a little bit. So now that I have the curtain cut to the correct size, I'm just laying the bar inside and folding over the fabric. And to ensure that it stays in the correct spot, I just put some tape there. And I actually only had to, to do this for the first one. Um, but again, you guys can use this as a template and you can see that everything lines up and it looks great. Um, and then I thought maybe, I feel like I'm talking so much, I'm sorry, but this is such a short video so I have to get so much in in like one go. But um, then I thought maybe it'd be fun to add some trim to the bottom of it. Um, I actually didn't end up going through with it, but I still think it'd be really fun to add some sort of trim or fringe. Maybe eventually I will add that on. So now I'm just taking this no sew hem tape. I got this from Target. I can try to link all these things down below. Um, so basically I'm just going where my tape line is and measuring that out cutting it and then just placing it down. So basically what you do, if you guys have never used this before, you just fold over your fabric and then you take a damp cloth and you put that on top. You take an iron and you hold it over it for about 10 seconds and then it meshes the two fabrics together. And it's so great. It actually looks like you sewed it. It has like a beautiful hemline and it just looks so good and it's super, easy to do so you don't have to worry about having a machine or anything like that. So now what I'm going to do is cut this curtain in half. You guys could of course um, just leave the curtain as one big panel but I wanted it to be split down the middle. So once I had it split um, I just basically made the little hem on each of the sides just fold it a little bit over with the tape 
ironed it and it was beautiful. <laughs> so now what I'm doing is just cutting off these little pieces of the fabric and showing you guys you could make um, pullbacks or tiebacks rather with the extra fabric. Um, I didn't end up doing that because I kind of like the flowy look but I might do it just for later on. And then here I am just making more of these curtains. So as you guys can see, everything looks beautiful. It's super easy. So now it's time to install these. So this is what the um, curtain rod comes with. Just these brackets and screws. And again, it's so easy. You just screw them in and then you just hook the curtain rod to it. And it is so simple. Um, doing this is probably the easiest way to have beautiful curtains in your camper or you guys could even do this to your house and it's just so inexpensive. For this whole area, I think I used one and a half curtains, um, or maybe like one and a quarter curtain. I think it was more like one and a quarter. So it was very affordable. Um, I think two curtains together are like $20. So it came to maybe like $25, something like that. Um, but yeah, it was really easy. I love how it came out. And as you guys can see, you can kind of see the outdoors when you're inside but I'll show you guys a clip in a second of what it looks like from the outside so as you guys can see you can't see in which is amazing and I just love how these curtains look so beautiful and flowy now I have to go make the rest of them for the whole camper so that's probably what I will be doing today but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do try these out, definitely tag me in your pictures. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.